Hello guys, so you want to make really cool explosions easy and fast? Then you came to the right place, stay tuned and watch the full tutorial. Also don't forget to join our Discord channel where we are talking about special effects every single day. Okay, so first of all I'm going to talk the Star Wars, this is an ace trick I learned the other day and it looks amazing, really clean. So let's create our grid and inside this grid I'm going to set 2 and 2 and this to 28 by 10. Yes, this looks nice. I'm going to use a connectivity just to start setting up our names. And under here, we're going to use the following code that we use in every single one of our videos. Uh, this is basically declaring the name. This is the name, for example, uh, uh, ground. And this is the amount of objects we have. In this case, one, see? Now we have ground. I also going to use, it's like a good idea to always have the name for each, which is the same as in this case, the name. After this, we're going to use a poly screw. There we go. And it's going to be set to maybe 0.9. This is okay. I'm going to use the following thing. I'm going to use a use offset. So, maybe this is going to be set to 10, and I'm going to scatter some points. In this case, we're going to use 15 points and relax iteration set to 0. And let's use a for each point. In this case, we have 14 points. What I want to do is the following let's grab a create meta import node and let's use this iteration just so it's more clear. We're going to use a copy points. This is going to be set on the right. I'm going to make another grid. This grid is going to be set to the longest axis of the two. And we're going to multiply it by two. It's only because we don't want to have errors. Okay. And we have a really long square rectangle. Oh, this should be set to X. There we go. Okay, now that we have this, we can go inside here. Like so, maybe we want 100 by 100. This is okay, and we're going to use a mountain. This mountain is going to give us this kind of shape. We can enlarge it. Maybe this, maybe this is okay. And we have all our points, but you can see we don't want this. We want to randomize our normal by our direction or orientation and as you can see everything is the same because we need to do the following let's add a spare input here and let's drag this node right over here and let's do the same with this one uh, let's add the spare input and drag this one and in this case we're going to go to options we're going to use the global seed and we're going to write the following detail then minus one, this is why we have our iteration here. The spare input, I'm going to write iteration and zero. This should be working on each iteration. Now that we have this, I want to offset just one thing. We're going to copy and paste this value and paste it on the offset. And we're going to multiply this by 400. Now each plane is different from the other one. Now, what we want to do is to grab the original, uh, the original object and use a BDB from polygons. BDB from polygons. There we go. And we're going to use this shape on the poly extrude. We forgot to use the back. There we go. And we're going to reshape it. Just a tiny bit, like so. We don't need that much resolution. And we're going to group these results. There we go. We're going to use uh, Blast. This is going to be called Blast, and this is going to be called Boss. So, if with the middle mouse click, we can see the name is respected. And we can select this with Bound region set to objects, set to volume, and this should be set to points. There we go. 
See, now we can use a blast and we can set this blast and unselect it. Now we'll have our cutters where we need them to be. This is nice. And we can even offset this as a tiny bit if we have some errors. This is going to be our calculations way fast. And we can always change this tiny bit. You can see here. See? It's amazing. Let's use a Boolean fractal. And let's grab our pole extrude here. And let's grab our edges right here. And we want to use append is going to be set to negative i mean to a, a underscore i think it's the name and see now we have these numbers and we want this to be set to no polygons otherwise we might have some errors later on with the numbers and this will be set to an assemble and this will be a great pack geometry now our names were sent to name in points and if you grab a null we have this set to out round low there we go this is the first part of our ground explosion for our second trick we're going to control alt shift and with the left click drag this to make our reference and in this case we're going to copy and paste these two guys right so and we're going to also scatter some points here let's make this non relaxed 1000 is okay we're going to use a borrowing fracture like so we're going to have this kind of pattern it is okay we don't need to change that so much and we're going to use a poly extrude and it's going to be set to any value we want. I think this is okay. Remember the output back. Let's grab a smooth. The smooth is going to be set to P. We can play around with this. Uh, and the strands also tiny bit. There we go. This is, I think, nice. Let's see. We can improve this. And look, if we merge these two guys. This should be brown and we need to offset the shapes a tiny bit. So let's grab a transform node here and we're going to copy the poly extrude on the Y axis right here. There we go. Now we have our bubbles on the top. Let's grab our assemble here and let's grab a node. This node is going to be set to out level low. There we go. Nice. This is only to visualize. Now let's grab a file. I'm going to look for a, a statue, which I have it in one of my folders, which is here. It should be loading. There we go. I'm also going to use a transform node set to minus 90 and 0 0.01. Oops. And if we merge all these guys together, we have this. And I want this to be on top. You see? And if we want this to be on top, we can always go here and output the front. That's going to split the front. Here we go. Front. We have the front and we can use a match size right here and uh, no, right here and right here and we can use the mean and if we merge all these guys together we should see this that we should see this that you right here on top it should be after the transform there we go see now it's on the top this is very nice and something we can add here is the following for example we know that we have this setup which is very nice so we're going to copy the same so let's copy everything from here 
and just paste it here and with shift and C you can compress it we already know we have all this to see so let's connect it here and let's hop in so first of all we have the connectivity which is okay we have the name which is okay I want this to be statue and I have polish extrude which I don't want and have the ISO is offset which I do want so let's see what happens Okay, so we have a problem here. The grid is too big for this model. But we are going to use this manual. Let's do a two by two. Is this okay? It might be, or it might not be. I think it's not. Let's do a four by four. There we go. This is better. You can see most of the grids are inside. Let's make sure to do a five by five. Okay, so now with this, we can fracture this. And let's check this with exploded view. What happens? nothing happens because this is set to us and this should be plus two there we go now we have this shape which is actually very nice so we can move forwards to the next step let's match this here is this symbol there we go this is bold and now we have all the pieces if we explode the view Everything is shattered. You can see. With Shift O, Shift O, and Shift O, these are going to be our shutters. This is going to be set to out statue low. There we go. Okay, so let's pay close attention to this. We are going to do some merge here. This is going to be uh, our constraints here. Just in a moment. So if we grab all these three and this that's a merge. So there we go. We have everything we need, see? But I want to do some constraints on the ground but not on the moon. So let's split this. We're going to split this based on a, a variable, an attribute, which is called name. We already know that we have a name called statue. So let's see what happens. This should be set to points. There we go. We're going to invert this. On the left side, we're going to unpack this to start with. And we're going to connect these edges and pieces based on the name. A value of point two, two, and two should be okay. Let's always have a wrestling. It's very nice to have it. And we can delete some attributes here. We have 47,000. We might just want to have half of it. It's okay. And we even have some error points, I believe, hiding somewhere. So 36,000 to 4,000. See, we have tons of single points. This is Okay, so in this case, this is going to be old as constraint type. We're going to set this to all, and this is going to be the constraint name set to, in this case, art and string which. We're not going to use because this is a hard constraint, but it's always good to have maybe you want to, to do something with this uh, as well. I'm going to use a strength of one. So if we go to the primitives, we have all these attributes that hit this up. So let's do a merge. And in the other part where we have our man, we are going to use the connect edges and pieces, but we are not going to pack. I just want the sample. Like so. So let's increase the radius, increase maybe the points and the connections. This should be it. And we're going to copy this here. And this is going to be glue. Okay? Now we have this. We can paste these two guys together. You can always add some, some color if, if we want to distinguish from one another. There we go this there we go now we have white and red and these are going to be our null outcome 
There we go. Okay, so now that we have this, we can finish our constraints. And and we can... Okay, so now that we have this, we can work on the high poly. We have these two guys which are well. So let's grab our ground. Okay. If we unpack this guy here, we have this with our names, right? So we know that we can do a for each name primitive. We have 549 names and we can see every single piece. So this is very low. I want to have something better. So let's do a PDB from Polygon. There we go. Let's convert this BTB convert here. Let's set this to polygons. Now we have more resolution. Let's smooth this just a tiny bit. So maybe a little more. There we go. And let's calculate our normals again. But just on the end. We don't want this to happen. We happen now. Let's do a point bob. For point bob, we'll have the positions to do the position, but we're going to add a noise. Like so. Okay. Now we uh, mess around with the 3D input and let's see how it looks. Too much, so I'm going to increase the frequency and lower the amplitude. We want to have something but not that drastic. We can even increase the roughness just a tiny bit. There we go. And we're going to recalculate the normals and click on multi thread when compiled and add a um, block, compile block. There we go. We're going to place this here and this here. We only want to have a not copy copy at the end of it and we're going to copy our name with the first input so we don't lose it and if we press single pass we should have in a couple of seconds this is very fast with compile and our fully high poly nodes see now this is the high poly version we should uh, assemble this to the fact so, and now we have everything we need. So, we can copy and paste this here and do the same for the pebbles. Okay, this is okay. But we uh, need to get a resolution. Okay, because this doesn't represent the shape. So, wall. Ready to 2.5. There we go. The smooth is okay. This is too much. This is way too much. So let's lower the lower the amplitude, increase the result. Just a tiny bit. Doesn't need to be so drastic. Tiny distortion. We should be fine. Yes. You can always go back and adjust our our parameters to top. Is this okay? I believe so. Let's see what happens after it loads. Maybe we need a little bit more amplitude. There we go. A little bit more. This is starting to look nice or better. I don't like quite much this pattern, so I'm going to go back here. It's the smooth problem. So just a tiny bit, but not that much and this should be much better there we go and they want just a tiny bit more noise here let's make the double of this and now we're talking okay so we can merge this and our high poly is right here we also want to have the statue which is uh, not meant anything else and we can paste this here is going to be null out high. There we go. At the out con out high and well, this is going to be 
our out low. Let's make an RTT. Fuck. And let's grab the object merge. And let's drag this here. Let's do low. And out on. We have the three things here. This is the high. You can see. This is the low. And these are the constraints. Let's plug this in here. After this, we can use an RBD unpack. We can do whatever we want here. For example, do a transformation and place it anywhere we want in the scene. It's not going to affect our final simulation. Uh, and from here, we need to have the null, which is this out proxy, out on. I don't want this to be out con one, so I'm going to change this to out constraints and this is going to be out con and this is going to be out high and the same here we're going to use high poly here and we're going to put the place or set this name to out high now we want to do the last part of this setup which is our simulation let's go to a dot network Right here, let's hop in. Let's do an RBD packed object. And in this case, we're going to grab the out low and connect it here. Okay, so we have our RBD. So let's do a ground plane and let's merge it here. Like so. This should be on the left. I don't want to see this, it's useless. And let's make a rigid bad solver. Like this in here. Let's add a gravity force. There we go. And we should be having something like this. Holes and crumbles. You can see. One thing is that I want to simulate all this and all this. I want to simulate them but in the middle. So we can have on here. A small segment where we select what's going to be activated. So let's make a group. This is going to be set to active. And let's do a wrangle. In the wrangle, we're going to be selecting the active group. We're going to be set to points. This is going to be set to bounding box. The bounding box, it should be set to toggles towers so we can press this button. And let's go back again. So go and stop. There we go. And we can move this guy like so. With this, we're going to select what parts are going to be activated and what parts are not going to be activated. This is going to be activated. There we. Go. This is the active parts. I might need to move this a little bit here. This is kind of odd, but it's not going to affect our final simulation that much. There we go. So this is going to be I active equals one. Everything else is going to be a zero. So let's hop in. And now let's see, this should be a tiny bit uh, faster. Uh, and this is going to be not our out low, but our out proxy. There we go. So let's see, now it loads. A little bit faster, add some constraints, constraints network. Let's go here, and as you can see, we don't have any constraints selected. We need to go to sub and do out con. Now we have something. Let's do a blue constraint relationship. This is going to be set to blue, and this is going to be set to blue. I mean, the regular us. See, now it's Find a lot something here, and we can multiply this by 0.2 just to begin with. And let's grab a merge and do the same, but with our hard constraint relationships. This is going to be set to the rows, this is going to be hard, and let's plug this in here. And we have these points, I do not want to see them, and uh, this rate is to zero. 
And in order to break this, we need to have a, 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 a solver. Stop, stop solver, there we go. Let's go into our relationships. So, and we're going to select only our heart. So if our constraint name is set or is similar to heart, we're going to run the following. So if our rest length or let's use our angle if our angle is bigger than 0.05 we are going to remove the frame of this geometry of this number of this primitive this should be working just fine and we can see this by adding one little thing that this is going to be the explosion like this metal ball this is going to be the metal ball and you know i'm going to tag this with alt click and on this fourth frame i want to have this set really really big like so this is going to be our main Explosion. This is okay, and we use a force. This is going to be ready for direction. This is going to be set to positive y, one, one, and one. Basically, this is different types of forces, and we want to just have a really interesting force being like an explosion. So let's. This is going to get really big maybe even the third frame and the second I'm going to use weight of zero so it disappears so let's use a, a metal ball force and let's plug in our load which is going to be out force there we go it's going to be set to out Force. and as you can see we should we should have our metal ball here this is to zero and this ready force to one and let's see what happens I set this to 2000 so it's going to blow out all over the place so let's go back to 200 and let's see what happens it's very nice, but I want to use argon strain relationships, so these are kind of connected for a bit. And as you can see, we have really nice explosion. We can have this set to delete commentary, but keep the points. We only want the RBD, and we want to transform pieces to out high and out template point and we have this that very nice so let's see how it looks very nice we can even make our metal ball a little bit bigger this should be set to one Let's make this a little bit smaller. There we go. It should work just fine. I'm going to paste it. I play around with this a little bit and added this kind of force. These are very fast setup, which I really like. And let's see how it looks. Now this looks a tiny bit better. And this should be set to primitives. There we go. So this should be set so, to primitives and hard and let's see how it looks. It's like dragging a little bit more and it eventually breaks. Okay? This is very nice. Maybe it's a little bit too much. This glue is very strong so let's lower this and let's see it again. There we go. These are very strong explosion. 
so we can play around with this instead of 200 let's do 100 and let's hop in one last time and do 0 5 and they want one last final tweak which is going to be setting this right beneath or in the center post let's lower the radius just on the left this is going to work way better than what we used to have so i'm going to fracture my statue a lot more a lot more adding more points and do a flip pocket of it so let's add 40. Okay, so look at this result. What I ended up doing is adding more cutters at the ground and more cutters obviously to the, the overall statue. And I think this is very good. Obviously you need to add maybe some debris, some smoke, but of course I have some auditors which cover those things. So I hope that you like the video. Hi guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to stay tuned for more videos, please join our Discord channel that we are talking every single day about special effects, modeling, texturing, etc.